Software is defined as the instructions that tell a computer what to do. It comprises the entire set of programs, procedures, and routines associated with the operation of a computer system. It is divided into system software and application software. In this video, we are going to talk about the key differences between these two types. Let's start with the system software. System software is defined as the type of software that is the interface between application software and computer hardware. It is designed to manage system resources and is known as a general purpose software. It is installed on a computer when the operating system is installed. It is used for operating computer hardware. It works in the background, hence users don't directly interact with them. It starts running as we turn on our computer system and stops when the system is turned off. System software can run independently. It provides a platform for running application software. These are examples of system software. The operating system is the main program that governs and maintains the intercooperation of the components of a computer system. It acts as a bridge for the interface between man and machine. For example, Microsoft Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Programming language translators refer to programs that transform programming languages written by developers into a form or a language that can be interpreted, compiled, and executed by a computer. When we say assembler, it is used to convert the assembly language into machine language. The compiler is used to convert high-level language into machine language in one go. The interpreter is also used to convert high-level language into machine-level language line by line. Thus, execution time is slow. The device drivers act as an interface between the various input-output device and the users or the operating system. For example, printers and web cameras that come with a driver disk that is needed to be installed into the system to make the device run in the system. BIOS stands for Basic Input-Output System. It is a small firmware that controls the peripheral or the input-output devices attached to the system. This software is also responsible for starting the operating system or initializing the booting process. The utility software helps to maintain the proper and smooth functioning of a computer system. It assists the operating system to manage, organize, maintain, and optimize the functioning of the computer system. Some examples are the following. Antivirus software that helps to keep the computer virus-free. It notifies when any malicious file is detected and removes such files. Examples of antivirus are McAfee antivirus, and Windows Defender. The file management tool helps to browse, search, arrange, and quickly preview the files of the system. For example, Windows Explorer is the default file management tool present in the system. Compression tools compress big files and decrease their size. Examples of compression tools are WinZip and WinRAR. Disk Cleanup tool helps to free up the disk space. An example is Piriform C Cleaner. Disk Defragmenter helps to reduce the fragmentation and hence reduces the access speed. Defragler is an example of a disk defragmenter. Backup Utility helps to backup the files, folders, databases, or the entire disk. An example of Backup Utility is Windows Backup and Restore. Application software is defined as the type of software that runs as per user request. It runs on the platform which is provided by system software. It is known as specific purpose software. It is installed according to the user's requirements and it is used by users to perform specific tasks. It runs as per user request. This means when we launch them, that's the only time they start and stop when we close them. It works on the user interface, hence users directly interact with them. They can't run without the presence of system software. There are two classifications of examples under application software. First, the general purpose application software. 
These are the types of application software that are ready to use. They are created by a company or an individual. The following are some examples of this category. Word processors help users to input, edit, format, and output text content. Microsoft Word and Google Docs are some examples of it. Database software helps in organizing data by creating and managing a database by storing, modifying, extracting, and searching for information within a database. Examples of database application software are Microsoft Access, Oracle, and MySQL. Spreadsheet software helps in organizing, storing, and analyzing data in columns and rows to facilitate calculations effortlessly and efficiently. Examples of application software in the spreadsheet category are Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. Presentation software is designed to help users to present information with ease and clarity through engaging visual modes such as text, pictures, sound, and video. Some examples are Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides. Web browsers are used to access and view websites through accessing the World Wide Web. It retrieves the necessary content from a web server and then shows the page on the user's device upon user requests. Some of the most popular web browsers are Google Chrome and Safari. Multimedia software helps users to create, edit, or record images, audio, and video files. Apple's iMovie and Adobe's Premiere Pro are some examples of this software. Second, the specific purpose application software. These are the type of software that is customizable and mostly used in real-time or business environments. They are developed and designed to fulfill certain business functions and to enhance the accuracy, efficiency, and effectiveness of operations. The following are some of its examples. Ticket Reservation System, Hotel Management System, and Payroll Management System. In a nutshell, system software acts as the interface between the application software and hardware of the computer system, whereas the application software acts as an interface between the system software and the end user. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about the difference between system software and application software. If you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time.